English short story. When I was 14. When I was 14, my hair caught on fire. It happened when I was in chemistry class. My teacher was showing us how to do an experiment. We used gas burners for this particular experiment. My teacher had returned to the front of the class. All of the students were still in the back, working on experiments. So, this is how it happened. I was bending over with the gas burner in my hand, and as I was returning it to its stand, it touched my hair. I didn't even know it. As I was walking back to my seat, another classmate was walking toward me. She stopped suddenly and screamed. Debbie, your hair! I didn't know what she was talking about, so I reached up to touch my hair. It was hot and I smelled smoke. My teacher was staring at me, frozen in his place. I could see his eyes. They were big. Oh no, I thought, this is not good. He then ran toward me and walked me very quickly to the sink. He put my head under the water. The classroom was silent except for the running water and the sound of one of my classmates laughing. I lived close to the school, so it wasn't a problem for me to walk home. Go to the office and let them know that you are going home, said my teacher. But I didn't stop at the office. I went out the door and straight home. I walked home as fast as I could. My mind was racing. In the meantime, the office had called my mom. Mrs. K? This is the secretary at the school. Your daughter, Debbie, she... There was a pause, and so, of course, my mom started to become very nervous. Debbie, what about her? What happened? The secretary was nervous. Well, her hair caught on fire in chemistry class, and... What? Her hair caught on fire? Yes, but she's okay. She's on her way home. As I came close to home, I could see my mom looking out the door, waiting for me. As I came up the steps, I said, Mom, my hair caught on fire. I was too shocked to even cry. At least, I don't remember crying. Mom examined my hair. She then washed it and cut out the burned parts. Afterward, she dried it and curled it. It was much shorter than before, but it looked pretty.
Mom, I said, I have to go back to school today. Mom knew that I was a very shy person, and so she was very surprised that I wanted to return to school the very same day. But I knew that if I didn't return to school that same day, it would be much harder to return. I also knew that everyone would be talking and gossiping about what had happened. So, the quicker I returned, the quicker all the talk would stop. When I got to school, it was lunchtime, and so many were outside eating and talking. By then, the entire school knew what had happened. Everyone stopped to stare at me. Some were laughing, but most of my classmates were very concerned about me. And some said, your hair looks really nice. After lunch, I went to my locker the principal of the school came walking by me really slow to look at my hair. I remember thinking, don't you know that I can see you behind me? He didn't say a word, but he seemed happy that I was okay. To my surprise, no one said much about the incident until the very last year of high school. All of the graduates had to write their most memorable event in the school newspaper. One of my classmates wrote, The event that was most memorable for me was when Debbie Kay's hair caught on fire. I remember thinking, Yeah, mine too.